Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. sitting here at the workbench and you see it's uh, kind of empty so uh, that's what I want to talk to you about see what you guys think get a little bit of uh, feedback and uh, maybe help me decide what it is that I want to build next so but before I do that I want to uh, show you a couple of things um, I went uh, to Hobby Lobby recently and that's my closest hobby store um, outside of ordering online anyway um, so I went to Hobby Lobby and I got a case so that I could put the, uh, the cutlass in it um, this this is the last build that I did the last uh, automotive build anyway so uh, yeah went and got the case and uh, got it wired in and uh, pretty well secured so I don't have to worry about this one getting jostled around too much now. Uh, it is inside this protective case. Keep the dust off of it, keep it clean, and like I said, keeps it secured. Um, I actually had one of the uh, one of the mirrors got broke off of it um, just uh, about a week ago because I didn't have it in anything. I really don't have a place to put it right now. So um, anyway, yeah, went to Hobby Lobby, got the case. Um, used my 40% off coupon so I think the case was uh, four and a half dollars something like that so uh, I thought that was pretty good um, also 67 Chevelle Pro Street uh, they had this kit up there and all of their box kits were 40% off so I got this for let me see it's regular $26.99 so I got it for like $13.50. Um, and this is a really cool kit uh, if you're doing, uh, well first of all, if you're doing a Pro Street, if you want to build the kit just as it is, it's a nice kit. Um, but if you want to maybe kit bash a couple other kits, um, it's got two different sets of big wide tires. It's got the slick, and then it's got one, a real wide one that's actually got tread on it. It's like a street tire. Um, the slick has Goodyear pad printed on the side of it. The slick is black wall, but uh, a lot of good parts in here. If you want to pro street another kit, which um, <laughs> now this this might sound weird because of all of the trouble that I had with the cutlass pro street, um, and I swore up and down I probably w w would never do that again. I'm actually considering taking this kit and doing a pro street of either Monte Carlo, which I, I, I think I've kind of talked myself out of the Monte Carlo, but um, let's see what else we got down here. Um, oh yeah, 67 Pontiac GTO. Now these two cars actually have fairly close wheelbases and I have actually taken the chassis from the Chevelle and put it into the body of the Pontiac just to kind of check things out and see how they would look. And uh, I'm, I'm really thinking about Pro Street and this using the Chevelle kit. Um, but anyway, like I said before, help me figure out what I'm building next. So uh, I've got this GTO, I've got the Chevelle, I've got the Monte Carlo. Hold on, I'm not done yet. Those of you might remember uh, when I went to the Fort Smith uh, model show. This was on December 5th and uh, we saw Sean Wilkins, the scale model car guy there. Well, Sean bought this kit for me. Um, so uh, this one's also in the running for, uh, for something that, that uh, I could sit down and build. I'm not done yet. I've got this kit, 57 Chevy. Uh, hold on, still not done yet. Now this one's this one's open, but 
Um, 63 Corvette. And I've still got my parts kit from when I did the Cutlass. And I could actually build this one too. I've got enough parts um, that, that I could build this as a, uh, like maybe a, a street cruiser or something like that. So anyway, um, yeah, I've got quite a few kits sitting here and uh, really not sure what it is that I want to build. So I'm going to take comments and see what you guys think. Um, so be sure to leave me a comment down below. Tell me what it is. If, if you had these right here sitting in front of you, which one would you build? Now, I may or may not decide to, to build the ones that, that you uh, suggest. I may just go ahead and do something completely off the wall. I don't know. I really love this Monte Carlo kit, and I've been wanting to build it for a while. Oh, by the way, I've also got a 1970, I think it's 1970, it might be a 69, but I've got a Chevelle kit um, that's actually right in the other room. Uh, yeah, not a 67 Chevelle, it's either a 69 or a 70, but uh, I've, I've got that kit sitting there as well. But I really want to build this. This, this has been uh, a favorite kit of mine for a long time, and I said I wanted to build it, and uh, yeah, so I'm really kind of leaning toward this one, but I'm also kind of leaning toward the kit that... Uh, Sean bought for me, you know, just because uh, he was nice enough to buy it, and I told him that uh, I was going to build it as, as a, a tribute to him for uh, for buying me the kit. So anyway, and then like I said, I got I got this one kind of kind of just sitting there and, and you know chomping at the bit, and so yeah, such uh, such a hard decision for for a model builder, but. Anyway, that's basically what's been going on. I've been doing a lot of work over at the homestead, um, trying to get this shed to house thing going. Been moving a lot of dirt, leveling a lot of things out. So not really a bunch of stuff to really show you in a video, but that's uh, definitely kept me busy. So um, that's, that's basically what I've been doing with my time. Now, one last thing before I let you go though, and uh, yeah, writing on a napkin. Um, I don't know, just because it was the only thing that was available. I wanted to mention a channel, and I'm going to leave a link down in the description, um, but this channel name is The Frayed Brush. This is what his profile looks like. Now the reason that I'm mentioning this channel is when I went to the Fort Smith uh, auto show or model show back on December 5th, I actually met Aaron, um, and uh, he, he had a, I want to say it was a five-headed dragon, anyway, I, I, I think I got a picture of it out of uh, one of my videos, and I'll see if I can find it and put it in right here. But the paint job on this thing was amazing. Met him and his wife uh, right before they did the awards at the show that day and uh, just a really super guy. I gave him one of my cards and he actually came over to my channel, left a comment uh, within the last couple of days. He started a YouTube channel. So um, if you guys can uh, swing by there, tell him hello, say, you know, saw you on Ed's channel, whatever. Subscribe if you like. I'm not gonna tell you you have to, but uh, check him out. He's, he's a brand new channel. He don't have a whole lot of content up yet. But I can tell you, he has a great talent when it comes to doing painting of, of figurines and models and stuff. Give him a hand, get him started off right. And uh, anyway, that's about all I got for now. So thank you very much. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, God bless, take care, and remember, pay attention to the details. <laughs> we'll see you again soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.